Cabinet Secretary will be aware of Labour's plan to end non-domicile tax status across the UK and use £3 billion in extra revenues to boost NHS staff numbers, including more newly qualified nurses, more doctors, more midwives and more health visitors. This will represent the biggest medical training expansion in NHS history. With our NHS facing so many challenges, including uh, unacceptable A&E waiting times, does the Scottish Government agree with me that Labour is right to end non-DOM status? And will the Cabinet Secretary pledge to prioritise increasing NHS staffing with the Barnet consequentials from this policy? Cabinet Secretary. I'd rather talk about the powers that we do have in our hands. Of course, any powers uh, that are, are held by Westminster. Oh, they don't like that. No, one, no. one minute they're castigating us, presiding officer, for even mentioning Westminster in the next minute. Uh, when I'm saying that we should be, of course, focused on the powers that we've got in our hands. Now, of course, if there's anything that Neil Bibby wants to suggest that we can do that is with our gift, uh, I, of course, would welcome uh, that suggestion. Uh, and, of course, anything that uh, takes uh, financial controls and levers away from the Conservative Party, who've already slashed our budget yeah. by £650 million pounds just due to the financial incompetence, I welcome any of that. But what won't help staffing in the NHS, of course, is Keir Starmer's insistence of talking down uh, and talking down our overseas workers in the NHS yeah. who make a fantastic contribution to the NHS here in Scotland. And I think actually somebody in Scottish Labour should stand up and apologise for Keir Starmer's continued anti-immigration rhetoric. 